Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan. Welcome to Semiconductor Thursday. Now, it's been a wild ride in the market. I Hopefully, I've given you plenty of warning here, you know, as far as the semiconductors pulling back. I know I did a video, you know, taking profits about a month ago when it came to the semiconductor stocks. A lot of those stocks are now looking very attractive. And there's two stocks in particular that are on my radar. The two stocks I have in mind, AMD and Qualcomm. These two companies are suited really to come in second place when it comes to NVIDIA. NVIDIA's got a huge market share. These two companies taking out NVIDIA, very unlikely, unless they just come out with some crazy computer chips over the next few years, NVIDIA will still remain king. But that being said, there's plenty of money in this space for a great second place for a stock that you should potentially have on your radar. Now, if you did heed some of my warnings, were able to protect some profits and you have some money to deploy in the near future, you might wanna stick around and watch this video as we're about to go over some great articles comparing these two companies and see how they match up in the Vectorvest 7 software. We're also gonna dive into their charts and see exactly what key levels I'm keeping an eye on. If you're interested in this, stick around and let's get started. Now, this is a great article I found comparing the two companies, looking at things like price action, the fundamentals of the company, really just looking at the stock itself, not necessarily the developments with the chips they make. Even though semiconductors are having a rough couple weeks, the space still set to grow at 13.1% year over year growth as I continue to scroll down here. Now, some of the latest developments, you can see AMD launch its new Versal AI Edge Series Gen 2. This really focuses on the AI driven embedded systems. Now, after examining this article, Qualcomm does offer a dividend, and pretty good dividend at that. I mean, its four-year average is 2.2%. AMD at this time does not offer a dividend. Now, if we look at some compounded annual growth returns, we see that AMD's revenue expected at 32% and 31% respectively over the last three years, while the net income has decreased at 30% over the same time period, and the EPS has declined at 36%. Now, if we compare this to Qualcomm, you see we have 10 and 5.9% respectively on the revenue and EBITDA. The net income did improve compared to AMD, but look, only 4.9%. And if you look at the EPS, even though it is increasing, the compound annual growth rate is at 5.7%, while AMD comes in at 36%, even though it is on a slight decline. And we'll get into these measurements when we look at the EPS in the Vectorvest 7 system. Now, as far as profitability, the article straightforward here, Qualcomm is more profitable. And in terms of valuation, they are using a non-GAAP PE, which is price to earnings ratio. Qualcomm currently trading at 17.44 and AMD at 45.46. So by these measurements, Qualcomm is the better value, but we will get to the Vectorvest 7 system and see exactly what our valuation has to say. Now you've heard me talk about battery life before when it comes to chips and especially when it comes to ARM holdings because they do have such efficiency when it comes to battery life. And that's, and that's why their architecture is found in over 90% of the cell phones out there. But you can see right at the article, AMD processors are far behind. And the reason why, battery life. As devices get smaller and smaller and more mobile, such as tablets, cell phones, and smartwatches, battery life will become key when it comes to the chip race going forward. Now we're gonna utilize the Vector S7 system to compare these two stocks. You can see both of them beaten up over the last few weeks here and once again down today. Now, the first thing I wanna look at is the valuation here with these stocks, you know, pulling back. Hopefully the valuations have become more attractive. We take a look at AMD here. It's always traded at a premium right now. It's currently at $140. We value it at 134. So anytime AMD gets below this valuation, definitely put it on your radar. Now, if we take a look at Quail, Qualcomm, it is already undervalued right now. Currently trading at 163, while we valued at almost $200. And if we take a look at long-term price appreciation, both favorable here. So both of these would be great alternative investments to a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years with AMD outperforming Qualcomm in that scenario. Now, if we take a look at RS relative safety, this looks at things like debt to equity ratio, the consistency of the company's financials, very strong ratings here. AMD does lead the charge at 1.45 while RS comes in at 1.2 for Qualcomm. So both of these stocks are considered safer stocks than the average bear in the database. Now, the last indicator, RT relative timing, let's look at the short-term price trend. You can see both of these unfavorable price trends right now momentum to the downside and no surprise we got a hold rating for amd and a sell rating actually for qualcomm right now vst this is overall value safety and timing favorable ratings here qualcomm barely meeting that threshold of one all these indicators are zero to two scale above one is favorable below one is unfavorable now if we look at the forecasted data here phenomenal forecast on both of these positions here amd nine percent on the sales growth rate 
29% on the earnings growth rate. That's phenomenal. While Qualcomm barely making double digits when it comes to sales growth rate, still positive though. However, the earnings growth rate, nothing compared to what AMD has in store. First up, we got Qualcomm. I can already tell you what I like about this chart. Look at the valuation, taken off, still going to the upside. The company is now undervalued. On top of that, the steady stair-step fashion we're seeing the earnings per share from lower left to upper right continuing to climb again earnings is the engine that will drive the stock price even higher now as far as entering in qualcomm or you know when to think about you know possibly buying the stock on the dip the first and easiest logical thing is if price action can break above this downward trend line we've got one two three clear touches we're pretty close to price action compared to the trend line right now all of the moving averages are in a bearish manner so no real reason to jump out and buy it right now now as far as finding a level of support the first and main level i'm looking at is around 157 if price action were to break below this another level of support doesn't come in until 133 dollars so in my opinion the easiest thing to look out for is see if we see any kind of buying pressure or optimism as price action nears this level of support here or to see if price action can just simply break this downward trend line. Now, just like Qualcomm, I'm already noticing that the valuation on the rise here, finally AMD, not so overvalued. It has always been trading at a premium with investors and even the earnings per share. I mean, that thing has taken off like a rocket lately, finishing today at a new nine month high. Now, let me take off value and zoom into a three month time span. We see a clear, simple downward trend line here. Price action rejected at these levels of resistance. So if price action can turn around and break above this trend line, that would be the easiest way to enter this position and seeing that momentum has changed. Otherwise, my key level is gonna come in around 134, which is right on par with our valuation here. So you would be getting a pretty decent deal on AMD at this time. And if I scroll back, you'll see the touches here. We do have a touch on this line from the top. As well, we do see some consolidation around this level at the prior low. So if price action can find a level of support here at this 134 level, by definition, this would be a higher low compared to the other, and we could potentially see an uptrend starting to form. All right, VV Nation. Now, you know, AMD is one of my favorite stocks out there, so I'm going to be partial to it. And you see it matched up in the Vector S7 system. The VST rating was higher than Qualcomm. But I will say, I would not sleep on Qualcomm. Their new Snapdragon chip was just released to compete directly with AMD in the AI PC race. Now, if you found this video informative and you saw the chart analysis to be helpful when trying to enter these positions while mitigating risk, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so that way you can get notified for further updates. Now, everybody have a great evening and I'll catch you next week. Hey, VV Nation, knowledge is power. And I wish that when I started investing in the market that someone would have impressed upon me just how important knowledge is when investing in the stock market. Well, VectorVest is giving you that opportunity to take advantage of world-class information and courses at a reduced price at the end of the summer. Folks, if you go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash sale, you will gain access to some of the best knowledge out there to help you to make better decisions in the stock market. Folks, again, knowledge is power, and this is your opportunity to take your investing to the next level.